All right, guys, today we're giving you a brief tutorial and walkthrough of our online planning system. Our online planning system will help you plan your event from start to finish, and will also help you to communicate with your DJ very effectively and very easily, saving everyone emails, time, and spreadsheets. So first thing, when you will log in, you'll see this front page with a nice little countdown to tell you how soon your event is sneaking up. Kind of puts the pressure on as you get a little closer. Uh, so the first thing you do is hit on the Plan My Event tab, and the first thing you're going to see is A, the Music Management System, and then the second thing you'll see are the planning forms. So the planning forms are going to kind of tell us everything we need to know in regards to your event. And down at the bottom, you'll see you can create a timeline. So a timeline, uh, we're going to need one for your event that's going to kind of tell all the vendors and everyone else when things are going to happen or in what order. Um, this drag and drop tool is very easy to help you kind of add things into your timeline uh, and create your flow for the day. Uh, you can simply drag things in, drag things out, drop them out, uh, and we'll kind of work with you and give you our feedback. Uh, you know we work events every week, we know it works, we know it doesn't. Um, so we'll kind of give you some advice on ways you might want to tweak or improve the timeline to create a little better event flow. And again, your DJ is always willing to meet with you to kind of talk through the timeline to make sure it makes sense and to make sure it's a good flow for the day. So if you save your changes, the next form you will find on the list is the introductions form. In this form, this is for your grand entrance. And what you're going to do is give us the names of everyone we are introducing. You are also going to give us the phonetic pronunciations of everybody's names. There's a link at the top of the page in this planner and it will take you to a name generation website that will actually give you phonetic pronunciations for everyone's names. Now, if you have normal names or common names, we obviously don't need a phonetic name for Smith. But if you've got some foreign uh, people in your wedding party or people with very just unusual names, the phonetic generator will help. Um, so the next form is our cocktail dinner music planner. This is kind of like Pinterest for your DJ and kind of teaches or kind of lets him know what you have in mind as far as the cocktail dinner hours. So this basically breaks out about 20 different genres. All you have to do is select the genres that you would like him to use for your cocktail and dinner hours. Very easy, very streamlined. Uh, the next form is for your ceremony. If we are providing your ceremony music, at the top you'll provide us with your prelude music. Uh, you're going to give us about 45 minutes worth of prelude music. Usually we only use about 30 minutes, but we want to have that extra uh, 15 minutes just in case the shuttle's running late, there's some sort of wardrobe malfunction. We just want to be prepared so we don't have to recycle the same uh, music. Uh, then you'll also book down below, give us all of your... Uh, processional music, all of the songs for the bride to walk down the aisle to, all the songs for everyone else, groom, groomsmen, bridesmaids, parents. And then you'll also give us your recessional music, so the music that you'll be walking out of the ceremony to. Um, you also give us a little bit of postlude music, so that's going to be music as kind of your guests are disembarking from the ceremony site and moving over to your reception site. So the next thing we will take a look at is going to be the music request system. This is where you will communicate to your DJ all of your requests. So you're basically going to create us five playlists if you feel like making requests. You absolutely don't have to make requests. Um, so those playlists are a must play. Those are songs you absolutely want to hear. Play if possible. Those are songs that you would like to hear but maybe are unsure of where they would fit. Uh, you'll create a dedications list, which is, you know, songs not necessarily that have to be in an announced dedication, but songs that maybe you want to put special instructions for. Say, for example, your parents' wedding anniversary song or wedding dance song. Um, you also create a play only if requested list, and that's songs that maybe you don't want to hear, but you know someone's going to ask for. A lot of times what falls into those categories are the songs like Shout and The Wobble and The Cupid Shuffle, those kind of line dance songs. Some people love them, some people hate them. If they're not your cup of tea, put them in the play only if requested list, and then we're only going to play them if somebody asks for them. And then the last and most important list of all, the Do Not Playlist. You know, if certain artists just get under your skin or you just can't stand them, we want to know. Um, so you'll also see in the music system the top 200. That'll actually give you real-time analytics of the songs that people request week in, week out. Um, so it'll give you the top 200 most requested songs that we get through our system. Uh, you can actually search for top 80 songs, top 90 songs. You can actually look for top wedding songs under the wedding category. So it'll tell you the top most popular cake cutting songs, father-daughter dance songs, first dance songs. And those are just there to give you ideas and to help you kind of plan the music for your day. Uh, there's also a guest request link that you can send out to some guests. I don't recommend everyone, but you can send out to like your bridal party, parents, brothers, sisters, 
and they can go in there and make requests, and then you guys will get to thumbs up and thumbs down those requests, and that just helps us to, real, to figure out quickly what you'd like and don't like. So through the online system, you can also send us messages to set up meetings. Uh, if you need to make any changes to the details of the event, say start time, or if you need to add on your ceremony, you can make those requests through the online system. Your contract is actually stored in the online system as well. So then we also do our payments through the online system as well. So you can actually make your payments via PayPal, credit, debit card, MasterCard, Visa, American Express. So we hope you enjoyed this little tutorial about our online system. It definitely makes things easy as far as communicating with your DJ and planning your event. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out, Mitch at RemixWeddings.com or 828-239-9903.